In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages PowerPoint 86 and 87, in which we're going to inspect a presentation. Reviewing your presentation can be an important step. You should not only find and fix errors, but also locate and delete confidential company or personal information and document properties you do not want to share with others. If you share pr presentations with others, especially over the internet, it's a good idea to inspect the presentation file using the Document Inspector. The Document Inspector looks for hidden data and personal information that is stored in the file itself or in the document's properties. Documents properties, also known as metadata, include, include specific data about the presentation, such as the author's name, subject matter, title, who saved the file last, and where the file was created. Other types of information the document inspector can locate and remove include presentation notes, comments, ink annotations, invisible on-slide content, off-slide content, and custom XML data. Let's now take a look at step one on page PowerPoint 86. And it tells us that we want to click on the file tab on the ribbon. And this will take us to the backstage view. And then we want to click on the properties button um, on there. So we go to our properties button. Of course, we have our show all properties. And of course, here is our properties button at the top. So you can see really all the properties that it has. But when we click on the properties button at the top, we want to click on show in document panel. And of course now the document panel, or the documents properties panel, is going to open showing you the file location and the title of the presentation. And of course we're going to enter some descriptive data for this presentation file when this document properties panel opens up. And of course here we go, here's our document properties that appear. Now of course a quick tip as well. We can click the Properties List button and then click the Advanced Properties to open the Properties dialog box to see or change more document properties. In Step 2, it tells us to enter the data shown in Figure D14 and then click the Document Properties Panel Close button. So in D14, it tells us here that, of course, we have our file location, which is going to be different than what's in the textbook. But, of course, we're going to have your name, of course, the title, the subject here, we're going to put input in QST Tour Series. Of course, the keywords, we're going to keep remain the same. The category here, we're going to be called Marketing. The status, we can click in over here, and that's going to be called First Draft. And in the comments, we're going to add in a comment where it says prepared for company use only. So now we have this data, which provides detailed information about the presentation file that you can use to identify and organize your file. <clears throat> now you can also use this information to search criteria to locate the file at a later time. Now you use the document inspector to search for this information you might want to delete in the presentation. So we will now click on this close button to close down the document uh, properties panel. Now on step three tells us we want to click back on our file tab again. And then we want to click the check for issues button. So we're going to take a look here and then while we have this here, we have our inspection presentation area here, and here's our check for issues button. And when we click on that, we have three options. We have inspect a document, check for accessibility, and check for compatibility. But we want to click on the inspect document. And when we click on that, it asks us a question here. It says, before you uh, use the document inspector, make sure you have saved your changes. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, because the document inspector might remove data that cannot be restored later. Do you want to save your file now? Yes, we do. So we go ahead and save our file. And now the document inspector 
dialog box opens up and the document inspector searches the presentation file for seven different types of information that you might want removed from the presentation before sharing it. Now, of course a quick tip as well if you need to save a presentation to run in an earlier version of PowerPoint you need to check for unsupported features using the check compatibility feature. In step four, it tells us to make sure that all the checkboxes check boxes have check marks. And so we need to go down and make sure that this off slide content is selected. And then we want to click on inspect. The presentation file is now being reviewed and of course the results are now being shown. The document inspector found items having to do with document properties which you have just entered and presentation notes which are on slide 13. You decide to leave the document properties alone but not delete the notes. So on step 5 it tells us that we want to click the remove all button in the presentation notes section. So we take a look here and we scroll down a little bit and here's the presentation notes we want to click on the remove all button here in the presentation notes. Once we have that we want to click on close. Now all notes have been removed from the notes pane for the slides in the presentation. Then next it tells us to click back on our file tab again and then we can click the protect presentation button which that is up at the top. When we click on that, we can now click on Mark as Final. And to this, as Final and then Saved. I want to click on OK. Now, the information alert box has been opened up and gives us that information here that the document has been marked as final, indicate that editing has been completed, and of course you can read on so much further uh, on that, and you can ultimately click on OK. I well, do make sure that you do read that to understand what happens to the file and how to recognize a marked as final presentation. And of course we do decide to complete this procedure, so we click on OK. Next we notice that up here we have our marked as final, and of course there is an edit anyway that's up there, but it does mark it as a read-only file. Now we can click on our Home tab here. It tells us to click anywhere in the title text object, so we can click anywhere up here. And it says when you select the title text object, the ribbon closes automatically. And information alert box on there, so if we just select this right here. And here's our alert box that appears up here. It tells us on there that this has been marked as final and it has made it in a read-only file. Now of course a read-only file is one that can't be edited or modified in any way. Now anyone who has received a read-only presentation can only edit the presentation by changing its marked as final status. Now you still want to work on the presentation so you remove the marked as status or marked as final status. And to do that we can click the edit anyway button so we click on this edit anyway and that takes us back to where we can edit this. Then we want to go ahead and save our changes. Now the ribbon and all the commands are once again active and the file can be modified. Now of course as well you can also digitally sign a presentation. Now of course a, we have to ask ourselves what is a digital signature and why would we ever want to use one in a PowerPoint. A digital signature is similar to a handwritten signature in that it authenticates, or authenticates your document. However, a digital signature, unlike a handwritten signature, is created using a computer calligraphy and is not visible within the presentation itself. There are three primary reasons why you would add a digital signature to a presentation. One is to authenticate the signer of the document. Two, to ensure that the content of the presentation has not been changed since it was signed, and three, to assure the reader of the origin of the signed document. To add a digital signature, just click the File tab on the ribbon, click the Protect Presentation button, and click the Add a Digital Signature, and then follow the dialog boxes. And that concludes the information on pages PowerPoint 86 and 87. 
uh, you're ready to move on to the final video in which you're going to evaluate a presentation.